What's going on YouTube? Snipes here with TKO Gaming. My apologies, my friends. I know I haven't uploaded in a very long time, but quick, pay attention. I'm very sorry, but listen, we have carried over 60 Guardians on PlayStation 4 and Xbox One in Trials of Osiris week one of year two. In year one Trials of Osiris, all the weeks that Trials was live, we were live, we carried over 1,000 Guardians on PlayStation 4 and Xbox One. Friday, Saturday, Sunday, and Monday go directly to Trials of Osiris carries on our live stream, which you can find in the description below, alongside details of how you can get in as a priority with TKO Gaming for Trials of Osiris runs. Now let's get into the strategy because I know you guys are seeing some Golgoroth gameplay. In this strategy, I'm going to tell you guys the best way, the best way to beat Golgoroth with an LFG group, a new group, uh, people that don't have thumbs, they don't have eyes, ears, uh, nostrils, I don't know what it is, who cares? This strategy works, all right? It's just a simple one orb strategy. It is for hard mode, Golgoroth hard mode, and I'm just a gaze catcher, man. That's all I do. So I'm pretty much going to be gaze catching um, while everyone else is going to be going down just front left orb like usual. As soon as they knock it down, I'm going to work to get that gaze. You know, I was having a little trouble, but this is a pretty good spot. I'll show you a couple other good spots where you can get the gaze as well as you keep watching this video. But, you know, the red death is great. Even when you shoot the orb with the red death, I still get my shield back, which is very, very cool because those little poison orbs come at you now keep in mind i'm not going to really share the mechanics of the raid with you guys because uh my last gold grab video definitely shows that um and i have every tutorial on everything on how to do king's fall hard mode I, it was such a crazy story i was just randomly lfging a random group because we're trying to get our playstation characters up with their hard mode raid and i randomly just invited some people and um i was on a different account right i was on actually one of my friends accounts i was helping him out and these guys are just hearing me talk about the youtube and shout out to everybody with for the support we just passed two million people on uh sorry two million views definitely not two million people we're not even close to that guys and truthfully i don't think we're anything special but hey man we passed twenty thousand subscribers and we are over 2 million views on the channel, so much love to you guys. I'm sorry I sound a little nasally. I actually had a horrible, horrible, horrible flu or sickness or whatever it was. Um, I only got 5 hours of sleep in the last 4 days of when Trials was out. Not not the last 4 days from now, but uh, let's see here. Friday, Saturday, Sunday, and Monday. Um, I, we pretty much carried in Trials for 18 hours a day. And we're going to do it every single week. Trials of Osiris is live, which is every week, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday. So be sure to just tune into the stream and just say hi, say what's up. Much love to all the people who donate and support to us, man. You guys are awesome. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Can't thank you enough. A lot of you guys wanted us to have a wish list as well. Uh, we have a wish list located on our Twitch stream too, my brother and I. Um, can't wait, man. It's so exciting to see the growth, see the love in the community. You guys are all awesome. Now, as you guys can see, there's a lot of different techniques we're using in this raid. I know I'm not talking too much about the raid, but I mean, honestly, by now, I'm pretty sure everyone's beaten King's Fall hard mode. And if you haven't, man, come on, let's go. Get a team together. Be the leader. Somebody contacted me through email earlier and was like, hey, I just have a tip, man. How I just can't figure out uh, good people to play with, raid with. My friends, they moved to Halo 5. They moved to Black Ops 3. You know, how do I get a good group to raid with? And I just told him, I'm like, hey, man, let me tell you something. The way I grew TKO Gaming, the way I built TKO Gaming was I wanted to be a leader that will help people save time, be efficient in this video game. And everyone's like, man, why are you trying to be efficient in a video game? Why does that matter? Well, I'll tell you why. There's a lot of things that happen in life, right? You have a wife, uh, you got kids, you got a job, you got to cook cupcakes or bake cupcakes. I don't know what you got to do. Yeah, everyone's got things to do, right? Some people like to go to the gym. Some people like to eat. Some people like to watch TV shows. Truthfully, there's not enough hours in the day. In one of my videos, I said there was 37 hours in a day. Incorrect statement, snipes. There's no such thing. <laughs> I wish there was 37 hours in a day. I'm telling you guys, man, it, it sucks. There's only 24 hours in a day, and I have a full-time job. 10 hours of my day go to that job. Man, 10 hours of my day, and I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to tell, I'm going to share something with you guys. 
10 hours of your day go to a job, right? And you apply um, that each hour is allocated to that job. You spend more time at your full-time job than you do with your family uh, or more so than you do sleeping. So that means that for that full-time job, there's a value associated with it. But that value isn't just for the job that you do. It's also a value put on one hour of your life. Now, I don't know how long my life is going to be. And I always thought that I'm going to die really young. I don't know why it's a weird ass thought to have, but I always felt like I was going to, you know, just die very young. Hopefully I don't. I really want to build something uh, very, very powerful on this planet. I want to, I want to be able to be in a position where I can help the people that need help, man. I, that's all that means that I want to be able to prov provide for my family and to be able to have a full-time job is a blessing, of course, but the concept behind it is horrible if you think about it. You're putting a value to one hour of your life, and many places have about, uh, what, a $7 was a national minimum of wage of $7.25, I believe, uh, or maybe even less, I don't know, but if you're putting one hour of your life is worth $7.25, wow. I, I it that blows my mind and I really hope you know I, I wish everyone the best I really hope you you aspire to your goals I really hope you reach your goals I hope um there was this crazy thing I, I saw it said um my family's dreams don't work unless I do and I think that's great you know I think the hustle is great and I think all that is fantastic but a lot of people tend to get content with the things that they do in life a lot of people want to just be like hey you know what I'm cool, well, I'm, I'm making my money, I'm paying my bills, I'm living paycheck to paycheck. And don't ever get satisfied, guys. Don't ever be content. Don't let it come to that. Continue to grow. One thing I preach more than anything is, guys, please, it doesn't matter how fast you grow, but as long as you are growing, that's all that matters. As long as there's progress, do not let life help you become stagnant oh my god life is so good at that because as human beings we're naturally lazy we want to you know take the easy path and not work and stuff but that's not the way it works get out of that mentality my friends anyways enough of my rant i love you guys i only wish the best for you guys everyone in the world not only people that play destiny you know we, we it should be a worldwide thing to just want to help each other and you know instead of not you know there's a funny thing that someone said People will always want you to do good, but they will never want you to do better than them. And I think that's so true. And I think that's an incorrect mentality. I think we should work together to be the best that we can. Anyways, um, Snipes for president. <laughs> anyway, I'm just, that's a joke, guys. I love you guys so much. Uh, you know, I hope this video was self-explanatory. It's just one gaze. Everyone else goes down. Weapons of light. Punch the, punch the Golgorod dude um, with the Titan thing that makes the damage. I don't even know what it's called. But that's it. That's all it is. Don't freak out if you die. Be positive. You can conquer anything. And this is just a game, but it applies to life. You can conquer anything in life if you're positive and you have the will to do it. I love every single one of you guys. I hope I can post more videos during the regular weekdays. But please, please, please come over to the live stream. Say what's up to us. And big shout out to my boy Candids. Uh, he's in this uh, video as well. I'll put his YouTube link below. Please, you guys, go check him out. Drop a follow. Put in his comments that TKO Gaming sent you. I love every single one of you guys. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Snipes is out. Peace. Stay blessed.